Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Hexagonal Tile Map. The goal is to generate a map made of hexagons, and handle the user mouse input to interact with individual tiles. Let's get right to it. We use this Globals Helper class to access the content and sprite batch easily, and the Game Manager to bind everything together and help with testing. Let's start coding. We begin by making the tile class. This class represents an individual tile of the hexagonal map. It contains the texture, color, and origin set to the middle of the tile. We make a helper method to calculate the tile position based on the hexagonal grid. The x-axis counts every tile's width and an additional half tile offset for odd rows. We add another half tile spacing caused by the origin set in the middle. For the y-axis, the tiles are three quarters of the height apart. We use this method when creating a tile. The draw method is straightforward. Let's make the map class. It will load the texture and store the tiles in a two-dimensional array. We will set the size of the map with the constructor. We use a double loop to instantiate the tiles. And a similar method to draw the entire map. We set up a testing map using the game manager. Let's see if it works. Everything is aligned correctly. Perfect. It's time to handle the mouse input. We will use a simple technique to determine the selected tile. It will look for the closest tile to the mouse cursor. We add an update method to the map class. Get the mouse position and a few helper variables. The algorithm will go through all the tiles. First, we reset the color. Then, measure the distance between the mouse and the current tile. If it is the lowest yet, it remembers it. Finally, if the distance from the nearest tile is small enough, the tile changes color. Let's call the update and test it works. Great! As you can see, the selection precision is very accurate. It is worth noting this implementation goes through every tile on each frame. We could optimize it by checking only a few of the nearest tiles. There is one more thing to mention. We were using a hexagon type called pointy topped. There is a second type called flat topped, which is 90 degrees rotated. We have to adjust the position calculations for the flat topped hexagons. We need to switch the axis. Let's try loading the other tile. Change a few parameters and give it a go. Very good. We have a flat topped hexagon map. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and learned something new. You'll find the code in the description below. Leave a like and subscribe to get all the new content. Is there a topic you'd love to see next? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.